girl. The finale, you motherfuckers. You here to demand your rematch? Because I have no problem beating you again tonight. There's not gonna be a rematch. You're giving up that easily? No, there's not going to be a rematch because you're going to announce your retirement tonight. <laughs> what? That's news to me. It's why I wanted to find you first thing, so you could start writing your big farewell speech. But that kind of emotional garbage should actually come easily to you. I mean, if you get stuck, you could just borrow something from your earlier writing. You've probably asked yourself a million times, why? Why didn't they want to be my parents? The truth is, we did, but we had to make the hardest decision of our lives because we didn't feel we could give you the life you deserved. Oh, garbage, snap. garbage, garbage. Love always, your mom and dad. That's right. I found out you wrote that little piece of fiction kicking off 20 years of lies to your best friend. His real parents are dead, and you've been stringing him along this entire time, making him think they're alive just so you'd have one friend in your depressing life. You never told him the truth, even when he continued to pathetically leave two empty seats for them that would never be filled. Why? Why are you doing this? The why doesn't really matter. Right now, you should be more concerned with the what, as in what could happen next. I could expose you and all your lies, destroying your life, your reputation, and most of all, your friendship with Trey. Or... You can retire immediately, and I'll make your secret my secret. But one way or another, it's happening tonight. I know walking away from everything you've worked for will be the hardest thing you've ever done, but you have to keep our secret. What the Please. fuck? No. <laughs> <gasps> Give us some dirt. I wanna eat dirt. Give me all the dirt to my stomach hurt. That's the real lyrics to the Motley Crew song. We can't just retire because of a bribe, right? Or whatever you call it. That would be very lame. And that's how I won the WWE Divas Championship, crossing off one of the most Look, elusive that. things that on the be. list. I, but the Divas <laughs> Championship that's wasn't that. just a title. That's my mom and dad. It was more than that. It was uh, sorry, I, I think something amazing just happened. Uh, earlier today, I received a note saying I would finally get to meet my birth parents at the Hall of Fame ceremony tonight, and I, I think they just arrived. I don't know I, what's I, happening I apologize either. if I'm a little distracted. Who are those people? I've been waiting for this, this moment my entire life. We're, we're almost done here, so I'll catch up with you real soon, okay? Uh, sorry again for cutting you off. Where were you? There's really not much left to say, other than to cover how we ended up here tonight. What the fuck? So maybe the parents lied the whole time about them being dead, or they just thought they were dead and they weren't dead. Now that would be a plot twist. Did she hire her fate? No, she didn't hire her. When I, I defeated my lifelong nemesis to capture this championship, the same championship I dreamed of winning as a young girl, it was an amazing feeling. But after that wore off, I was consumed by a range of different emotions, ones that I hadn't felt in a very long time. Satisfaction. Relief, peace of mind, the fire that drove me throughout my career to come out here and fight on a nightly basis was suddenly gone. I went from thinking, what's next, to what's left. And I realized that after crossing off the most elusive item on the list, the answer was 
Not much. Because I accomplished everything I set out to do and way more. So I had to be honest with myself. If I kept going, everything after would feel like a letdown. And that's not how I want to live my life or remember my career. So with all that being said, I'm here tonight oh, to no, relinquish the Divas Championship and announce my retirement from WWE effective immediately. What the fuck? Is this actually happening? Unfortunately, I, I think it is. Now, I know this is probably shocking and some of you might be disappointed or upset, but this isn't necessarily a bad thing. I've lived this part of my life to the fullest and now it's time for me to go explore other challenges. No. Who knows? Maybe I'll try acting again. You all saw how my only other audition went. Can't go worse than that, right? <laughs> Finally. This is the worst retirement speech ever. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for supporting me for all these years. Please continue to back the next women who take my place, who I am certain will be stronger, more athletic, and hopefully a little less temperamental than I was. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's it. Thanks, everyone. Yeah. really sure what to say I'm stunned I think we all are uh, no one was expecting this uh, thank you red yes thank you and we wish you all the best It's been a long day without you, my friend. Something, something, something. See you again. What was that? You can't retire. You've got years left on your career. I'm sorry, but I need you to try to understand. Maybe I could wrap my head around it if I had a little more warning. I mean, when you texted me, make sure you watch my promo tonight, I was expecting you had some clever line about Brooklyn, not that you were going to walk away from WWE. This wasn't something I was planning for a long time. It happened quickly. Okay, fine. But if you're done, then I'm done. We're a package deal, remember? No, <sighs> what? Don't do this. I need you to try to understand. What about the title shot you just earned in the Royal Rumble? And getting revenge on Samoa Joe for everything he's done? None of that matters if you're not along for the ride, too. You need to think about this some more. You're making an impulsive decision. I've made up my mind. I'm done. <gasps> I never expected my plan to work this well and cause your idiot friend to retire too. It's like getting rid of two turds with one stone. This isn't over. But it is over. And that's the best part of all of this. Anyway, just wanted to wish you a happy early retirement. Maybe you can take up bingo or going to dinner at 3 p.m. or yelling at kids in your neighborhood. If you kick that ball in my yard one more time, I'm going to put you on my list. <laughs> Hilarious. See you, uh, never again.
Alright, so what's gonna happen now? We're going live with your show intro in five minutes. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Uh, just let me run through it once to make sure I've got it. <clears throat> Who will be named as your top ten? Prepare yourself for drama as our contestants get their hands dirty, glad-handing with the CEO of a manure company to see who can get the upper hand for their fall fertilizer campaign. It's all hands on deck, coming up next on America's Next Top Hand Model. Um, Do you think there's too many hand puns? It's perfect. It's not heavy-handed at all. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> hey, hey, sorry I missed your other call. I'm at my new hosting gig. Look, if this is about getting Baron Corbin a spot on the show, I'm still relatively new here, so I don't think I have that kind of pull yet. Oh, okay, good, because honestly, I don't think Baron's hands are anything to write home about. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? Really? That, that's amazing! Did you tell Red yet? Yeah, she's been hard to reach lately. Okay, I'll, I'll try her. Mm -hmm. This is truly an honor. Thank you so much. Oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, yeah, oh, 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 I'm gonna be famous, or I'm gonna be famous, sir. <laughs> ah! <laughs> yes! What could that possibly be? It's my ring and my championship. Oh no, don't I you hate too. you, Brooklyn. What? Hey, it's been a while. How's it going? I'm great. I'm on vacation at the beach, which is why no one's been able to reach me. I'm trying to disconnect, you know? Oh, that's good to hear. I only have a minute, so I'll make this quick. I just got some amazing news. We're going into the WWE Hall of Fame together. Really? Wow, I I'm sad. shocked. I mean, I thought it would happen someday, but definitely not this fast. They didn't say this, but I'm assuming they want to capitalize on my crossover appeal as host of ANTHM. I'm sure that's it. I know we didn't expect our careers to end the way they did, but it's nice to know we accomplished enough to go into the Hall of Fame. But I never beat Samoa Joe. We're going in together, just like it's always been. Yeah, it is nice. Hey, I gotta run. Don't relax too much. You know what they say about idle hands. Ooh, I gotta work that into tonight's What show. type of phone is that? Congrats. Like phone case. Too. Ooh, I wish I could see Brooklyn's reaction. <laughs> I'm sure she won't be happy. Which makes me happy. into the Hall of Fame? This has to be a joke! They were only in the WWE for a cup of coffee. You know what? An actual cup of coffee deserves to be inducted before they do! Ah! Take it easy. We're all entitled to our opinions, but there are certain realities you can't dispute. While Red and Trey may have had shorter careers than the typical Hall of Famer, the impact they made during that time was tremendous. So it doesn't matter if you or anyone else disagrees, they are going to get the recognition they deserve. We'll see about that. I would assume his beard, his beard would be gray by this point. I wonder, will Triple H's beard be gray in 2029? The little questions in life, man. Oh, well, this has been a long session, man. I know I should be more high, but I'm just kind of excited to be finished with this shit. <laughs> I'll give my final thoughts and stuff, too, at the end, so. No music, either. It's like they want you to be kind of sad. 
Or some shit, I don't know. Man, feels like we've been up here for like 15 hours. Hope everyone's still with us. <laughs> but uh, I think that pretty much sums everything up, right? Yeah, I think we covered it all. And there's only one thing left to do. List, please. <laughs> it's time to cross off one final list item together. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Shoot, I think I forgot a pen. Seriously, I've got one you can use. I'm sure someone else in this arena has a spare pen, so you can go sit down. Take it easy. I just wanted to come up here in front of the world to say congratulations and finally put our differences behind us. I would never do anything to take away from your special night that you so rightfully deserve. Trey, even your birth parents are here, which oh, is amazing. She set this up. Stand up, please. But before you finish up, there's just one thing I want to mention that you left out of your speech. You see, I'm pretty sure they're Red the same heights as Red and Trey. Wasn't 100% honest about what led to her retirement and later her best friends. In fact, it turns out she oh. has a little secret, which is the real reason she walked away oh from WWE. Goodness. You have to do something. She's gonna ruin everything. I'm sorry, but I'm done hiding this for us. It's over. What really happened was I found out the truth behind this secret, and she didn't want me to tell anyone. So she chose to retire instead. But I couldn't sit back and let her get away without everyone knowing the real Red. So let's start with this. That lovely older couple in the audience, they're not Trey's parents. I know, because they're fakes I hired to be here. Bum, bum, bum. That letter you got that said they were coming tonight, also a fake. But if you want to see your real parents, I can make that happen. Here they are. Yeah, that pretty oh much says it all. Oh my god. And look at the date there. They were already long gone by the time we were in high school. Which makes you wonder, Trey. How could they have written you a letter? How did they both die in the same year Maybe someone year else and wrote day. it to try to manipulate you into doing whatever they wanted. And maybe that person was so miserable and lonely, they had to resort to something morbid like that to ensure they always had a friend at their side. But who would do such a terrible thing? Certainly not your so-called best friend, right? Is this true? Oh! <gasps> We're not finished here. If you come any closer, I will crush his neck. And the oh same God. goes for anyone else. If you try to stop us, I will end him. Not the podium. Oh, we're gonna fight. We're gonna fight up here. What the fuck? <laughs> Okay, here we go, guys. I guess we're gonna have a brawl at the Hall of Fame. So now that the secret's out, are they gonna just continue wrestling after that? This? That's what I really wanna know. I gotta stay away, oh no. Let's um, throw into the thing.
If Brooklyn does not get cancelled by the end of this series, I'm gonna be so pissed. That's what I did already. <laughs> hmm, who's that? Rhea Ripley? Huh? Who the who the fuck was that? <laughs> I'm so confused. Yeah, it is Rhea Ripley. What's her problem? Oh, it's the man, Becky Lynch. Okay, oh, come on, can you just load that? Like, what the fuck? It's so everything, this game, come on, this is 2019, guys. This game's that will load everything, you know? I don't mind waiting an extra 30 seconds if it means I can just do two fights in a row. In a cage match, a person can run anywhere now? That's weird. <laughs> I like how they couldn't handle all the people on screen, so they just had to vanish them. Like, what the fuck? Like, what's Becky Lynch's problem? Do they want me to, like... I don't know. And, like, why is Becky Lynch just the heel this whole time? Why are, didn't Joe kill me yet? <laughs> Ooh, punch me right in my boob. Oh my god. I knew it! I knew the list would be destroyed at one point. I felt it. No. <laughs> They've appeared to reach a low point. What happens now, guys? What the fuck happened now? Alright, yeah, there we go. So, final chapter. I'm gonna just continue with it. It'll be a double long episode. It's cool. Wrestlemania, man. Picture in a do do ba ba da ba da do. Do you need me to make another ice machine run? You know, there's some wounds that ice can't heal. <gasps> <laughs> what? You, you have to admit, that was a pretty cheesy line. <laughs> you know, you have a really strange way of apologizing. I'm sorry. It's just, 
We've been working through this all night, and I think I'm starting to lose it. <laughs> Look, you know how I truly feel. You also know me better than anyone else. I made a stupid decision to protect you when we were kids, and it just kept escalating from there. I wanted to tell you so many times, but it got harder and harder, especially when you started leaving the tickets. I couldn't bring myself to take that away from you. It would be like you finding out that America's Next Top hand model was fixed. <gasps> Wait, is it? Did you hear something? <laughs> no. I was just using that as an example. <sighs> okay. Because I don't think I can handle that right now. <laughs> I think I always knew deep down that it was all too good to be true. That I'd never meet them. But... I guess a part of me wanted to believe that maybe something bigger would come out of all of this. That it wasn't just about action figures or championships or entertaining millions of people. That it would help me find a part of myself that was missing. But maybe something bigger did come out of all of this. This wasn't about finding two people who would fill a hole in your life. It was about millions of people finding you to Whoa. fill holes in their lives. <laughs> now that was cheesy <laughs> but it's true <laughs> maybe I have something for you please don't tell me this is a letter from my long lost aunt and uncle telling me to forgive my best friend <laughs> just open it what's this all about it's our new list on one of my ice machine runs, or maybe it was one of the times you locked me out of the room, I can't remember, but I made some phone calls to management, and it's unprecedented, but they've agreed to let us get revenge on Brooklyn and Samoa Joe at tomorrow oh. night's WrestleMania. Assuming you're on board. I guess we're coming out of retirement. This has to be some kind of record. <laughs> There's one other thing you need to know. Brooklyn and Samoa Joe agreed to the match, but only if we put our Hall of Fame spots on the line. What? You really it's after do the Hall of Fame. If we don't fight back after what they did, then we don't deserve those spots. Package deal. I'm in. Hey, just wanted to let you know, I left two open seats in the audience just like you always did. Why? I mean, obviously my birth parents aren't showing up anytime soon. So mm -hmm. was it just for good luck or out of respect or something? You'll see. I know because I'm not an idiot. It's gonna be Trey's adopted parents because they love him too. But will they age though? That's the question. Okay, let's talk. Let's go in order, I guess. I don't know. It doesn't matter how tonight turns out, because either way, I'm proud of how far you and Red have come. Aww. I mean, sure, it'd be nice to be able to say I trained two WWE Hall of Famers, and I could probably raise my rates again. But like <laughs> I said, doesn't matter. Well, I know we didn't always see eye to eye, but me and Red owe you for helping us get our start. What do you mean we didn't see eye to eye? You were my prize student. Never mm. doubted you once. I used to call you Sure Thing Trey. No. Are you serious? You thought I'd be a manager at best, and you definitely didn't think I'd make it to WWE, let alone become a Hall of Famer. I think you said something about pooping golden nuggets? <laughs> I don't recall that. Anyway, good luck, sure thing. Sure thing, Trey. Sure thing, Trey. 
Mickey James. Look, I know we haven't spoken much since I've been gone, but I just wanted to say I'm pulling for you tonight. And Brooklyn had no right to exploit your past and ruin your big moment. I appreciate you saying that. But I also know how your impatience and temper can get the best of you sometimes. So I'm a little worried that you rushed into this match, especially considering your condition and- Thanks for your concern, seriously. But this is something we have to do, no matter what we could lose in the process. And it's Triple H time. I know you're gonna tell us it's not too late to change our minds about the match and putting our Hall of Fame spots on the line, but we need to do this. I wasn't gonna say that at all. It's actually way too late to change your minds. <laughs> the match is happening. Oh, okay, well, that's good then. I was going to say that if things don't go well, Brooklyn and Samoa Joe can't erase your legacies. Everything you worked for and accomplished won't just disappear. It sounds like you don't think we can win. Look, you both have defied the odds before, but I'm just being realistic. <laughs> when it comes time to honor the Hall of Fame class tonight, we'll be out there front and center. But who will, <laughs> it'll just be us, <laughs> and then it'll end it. Why didn't Mickey James protect Red, though? <laughs> Alright, well, I guess this is the final match, guys. After this, I'll probably do more universe mode, because I gotta fucking do that shit. It's time for the greatest spectacle in sports entertainment. Welcome to WrestleMania. If you've somehow been off the grid for the past 24 hours and you missed the news that we have a huge last minute change to tonight's event. After being ambushed at the conclusion of their Hall of Fame speech, Red and Trey will seek revenge against Brooklyn Von Braun and Samoa Joe. And saying that the stakes are high feels like a severe understatement. If Brooklyn and Samoa Joe can defeat Red and Trey, they will take their spots in the WWE Hall of Fame. Here we go. And we've never seen anything like this before, and it's highly improbable we ever will again. With respect to every competitor who enters the ring tonight and every championship that's contested, it's now time for the most important match of the evening. Red and Trey are here to take on Brooklyn Von Braun and Samoa Joe with their Hall of Fame spots on the line. It's truly impressive Red and Trey overcame both physical and emotional trauma to be here tonight. But I suppose revenge can motivate someone to do just about anything including putting everything they've dreamed of and worked for at risk uh guys what are these pieces of paper falling down from above i believe it's supposed to symbolize their new list and there's only one thing on it be okay. brooklyn and samoa joe at wrestle this is why i left the two seats it's time to move on oh <gasps> i knew it guys I'm glad you're here. I think that might have been Trey's adopted parents sitting at ringside. I think you're right, Myron. All right, guys, are you ready? And now here are the 
two superstars who want nothing more this? than to take everything I can't even skip it. Tray, to essentially erase their legacies in a single night. It's the so-called American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun and Samoa Joe. Yeah, these two have a much different kind of bond than Red and Trey. It's an affiliation based on shared hatred for their opponents tonight, dating back years in both cases. Full disclosure, I think we're looking at the newest members of the WWE Hall of Fame class. Brooklyn and Samoa Joe have been unstoppable from both a mental and physical standpoint since the moment they joined forces. Red and Trey would have a hard time Is this the first WrestleMania match we've ever actually played with them? Is that why? Like, I'm confused. And there you see Red and Brooklyn facing off. There is so much history between these two. We're talking decades of hostility. I don't know if it'll ever end, but we'll get at least some kind of resolution after tonight's contest is over. We're not sure who's going to start the match tonight. It actually looks like Brooklyn and Samoa Joe are discussing that right now. Apparently, it'll be Samoa Joe and Trey. Brooklyn's going to make Red wait to get her hands on her. Yet another calculated move from the American hero. This is it. Here we go. WrestleMania is often called oh, the shit. showcase of the immortals. But Red and Trey aren't here to showcase their mortality. They're here to try to save it by retaining their spots in the WWE Hall of Fame. Geek. The fact that Red and Trey are even fighting alongside each other... Well scouted reversal there. Oh. Half kick right on point. Oh, again! Oh no 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 no! Oh my God! Oh look at this! Oh kicks! Oh man! Good grief! Turn your lights out. Our WWE roster knows anytime you enter a ring with Samoa Joe, it's career threatening. In fact, we all learned immediately upon Joe's WWE debut. Watch this where shit. He illustrated exactly why he's called the Destroyer. Oh, okay. Watch out Boom. Brought in the hard way. A striking blow. Boom, what a forearm. She's bringing the pressure on now. Yeah, I love the effort here, but she'd better hope she can sustain it. What the fuck was that shit? Oh my god. Joe with both arms hooked. It's about that time, gentlemen. Time for it. He's not going to like this. Here we go. The RKO. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, she has an arm too. Okay, I didn't even notice that shit. Well, that's it. And now they're the same height too. This match takes place 20 times and on 19 of those occasions, Brooklyn and Samoa Joe get the win, but not tonight. This was special. This was your night, Red and Trey. Congratulations for the second time on your Hall of Fame induction. Oh, no, and now she's taller again. What the fuck?
What's gonna happen now? This might have been our first time seeing one of your matches in person, but we were always watching on TV. We're proud of you, son. Can I, I, I still call you that? Yeah. There's the mother always up to do. All right, here. I'm sorry about that. We all are. It's okay. We, we, we have something for you. Some maintenance guy from the arena was selling it online. It wasn't cheap. Luckily, we've gotten good at puzzles in our old age. Oh my gosh! I thought I lost you, but you're back. There's oh, one thing there? left on there we need to finish crossing off. A dance off? <laughs> it appears that the list has somehow been salvaged. Red and Trey can now pick up where they left off. We also didn't win the Dusty Classic, and we didn't. The There's something else we didn't win. Victory. An unexpected reconciliation, and finally the unexpected return of what some might think is just an old scrap of paper. But it was more than that to Red and Trey. It's what led them to this very moment that to them was expected all along. They may not have known how they'd end up here, but they knew when they created that list that this was their destiny. Well I said, guess. Michael. <laughs> soak every bit of this in. Red and Trey, you deserve it. All right, I don't know if that's the end or not, so let's just let the game go for a minute. And that was the whole whole thing class, imagine. All right. We got a trophy, the best. That's cool. Oh, we got the bionic arm! Oh, for both of them. Okay. Cool, cool. And the Hall of Fame attire. All right. Well, yeah, that's it. We did it. So overall, oh, I thought the game crashed. Oh, shit. Overall, it was good. Like, compared to 2K15, man, it was, like, fucking good. But there's some problems one it's a little bit too long the story kind of peaks and it drags for the last couple hours if i really had to rate this career mode though i'd probably give it a 7.5 out of 10 and i don't think i've been able to do that since wwe 12. this is honestly the best storyline that they've done in years and um i do wish it was a bit shorter but it really ranks among the best wwe video game storylines i mean really when you get down to it, there's not a lot of great actual story modes in W and you know the WWE video games. You know you're gonna have your favorites like Road Trustmanias you might like. You know they are kind of short. Um, you know the sto the season modes um, and all that stuff. But um yeah. <laughs> This is probably among the top ones, so if you really, if you're like trying to think of a reason to buy the game and you like stories, then 2K20 is worth it, and I hope that, you know, you enjoyed it, enjoyed me playing it. I'm happy I actually finished my career mode because even 2K15 I went so far in it and I never finished and never finished it because I don't even think it ends. I think it just keeps on going. But uh, I always did. It was a fun experience. And I'm gonna end this series with um, increasing both of them because how fitting I guess. The leg power maybe. Yeah, I need that. 
Now, I don't know um, if you'll ever see Red and Trey again. Uh, 2K21 will most likely not have a, the same type of storyline like this one did. However, if it did, then that'd be cool. Maybe we'll do some online matches as them, of you know, as them, if we could. I have to look into that. No, okay, whatever, it's cool. Alright, law offense. Law offense. Boom speed up, 84. Um, you know, I do like that they had the Samoa Joe and Brooklyn Braun storylines going on for a while. Like, literally, I think Samoa Joe has been in since, what, chapter 6 or some shit. There we go. Our aerial offense. And we've have, we don't have everything, you know, picked, but we have literally everything on the map. All right, so let's just do this quickly. Um, so yeah, I would honestly recommend it. It's, you know, it, it does drag. I wish it was, it's about 16 hours long, I'd say. I have to check how long, you know, the series has been in total. But if the series, you know, a lot of people like long games, and I'm not the biggest fan of them, honestly. I think eight hours is good for any campaign, but if you're into that, man, then it's like, this is a good way to do it, I guess. Let's go up there. I don't know what will be up next, like a, a replacement for this series, but what I can tell you is that I'm definitely going to play more 2K20. I mean, I, I need to do universe mode. There it is. Bam, 99 strength. That's pointless for this, but whatever. Let's go up there. And those are the last like five things we really need to get everything. Anything else we could do that we need? All right, just like that. That's it. Thanks for watching. Maybe I'll cap this off with a match online with both of them and see how they do against other people. I don't know yet. Anyway, um, thanks for watching though. Peace.